Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. We're Armando and Mel, for people that doesn't know us. It's since 2012 that we travel in a VW T4. His name is Mork, and now it changed his name in the last couple of years. It became Markenstein, just because it's a special T4. You can't find anything else on the planet. So we changed the pop-up roof with a high roof, the bed is on top, and we have a fantastic kitchen in the bottom and a lot of space. We have a hot shower and hot water for the sink. So we really did a lot of tuning, especially we change the engine. We pass from the classic 1.9 ABL engine that was so slow, especially on high heels. Then we put the IFN, it's the classic Golf 3 engine under 10 horsepower with the 4x4 conversion, so it became a synchro. I mean, I always drove it as a synchro, but now it's really a synchro. And then we had some problem last year with the gearbox, and we changed again engine, we put one of the best, probably, the Volkswagen ever did, the 2.5 TDI Synchro engine. So, we're back on the road. I want to do a recap on what happens to us. I mean, we're still alive. Mel, she's right here. She's working. Can you say hi? Hello. <laughs> so, she's here. She's not fake. She's still my wife. Even if the first week now that we're back on the road, we want to kill each other, but... You know, everything is fine. So, where we are, or, well, okay, let's start from where we are. We are in Chilento, but it's a, a really nice area. It's a natural park south of Salerno, and Salerno is south of Naples, so we're in south of Italy. We decided to come here because usually it's sunny and warm weather, but as you can maybe hear, it's raining cats and dogs, yes, from yesterday. I mean, all the week has been like sunny, cloudy, rainy, and for the next three days, pretty much will rain on the entire Italian peninsula. So, what to do when it's raining outside? Uh, record the video, for example, for the channel. I mean, Mel, she's working on some pictures, and I got some times. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Why I didn't pause for a long time on our channel? Because in 2019, I started an Italian channel that is pretty successful. I got like 32,000 followers there. When this English one, maybe because uh, there's so many channels that came out about van life and stuff, uh, it's probably more difficult to promote it and but you know we're still traveling since 2012 so we're we're good we're fine so what happened last year we were traveling in Turkey first we had the idea to go to Cyprus for three months so we can get a new visa for Turkey that didn't work and at the same time we had some issue with the gearbox we went back to Bulgaria we tried to fix it the classic Bulgarian mechanic said no problem you can go everything it's all right well it wasn't so we drove through Greece we take the ferry we went to Italy and finally we decide well there's no point on changing the gearbox uh, let's do something better so let's change the entire engine so we found an old synchro ambulance and as well the mechanic that did all the job so now we're back on the roads and so far we didn't have any problems with the engine finger cross one hand only so we're you know back on the road meanwhile while we were in italy we went back to a small campground it's inside the natural park it's kind of in, in the middle of italy it's near bologna like 40 kilometers south of bologna on some beautiful hills and it, it's inside the park and we love the camping last year we visited and we rent a small bungalow for like a week and we went back because the first mechanic, it was nearby. So I said, well, it's better to rent a place here in the camping and the mechanic will be not so far so we can fix the van and then go back on the road again. And one day 
It happened one morning. I was, you know, going out with the dogs at 7 in the morning. It was a Monday. And I saw a sign for sale out of one of these wooden house so in Italy usually this kind of camping that are for let's call them residents they have a caravan and plus outside the caravan and in front of the caravan it's built like a wooden house and I just call Mel and I say well come and take a look and we saw it we we kind of loved it as we loved Mark the first time we saw him in Prague it happens the same thing for the small house and I would say it was a couple of years that we were thinking about to have a stable place where you know these things happen like breaking the van or even something some issue like health issue or uh, anytime you know we want to stop traveling and relax because as I say many times traveling full-time in a camper van especially two people it can be stressful sometimes financially sometimes you know depends on the mood sometimes because maybe like today tomorrow and the day after we're gonna be stuck in the van with the rain outside so we cannot enjoy the outdoor so yeah we just fought and the same day we bought this house it wasn't expensive and uh, the rent for the camping is not expensive and we said well why not uh, we thought it was a good transition we had some other ideas for example and we were starting thinking like to have a bus like a like a huge bus i kind of have it for free like an old 1995 bus and you know do we do all the conversion inside to make it like a eco-sustainable house we also have a place from a municipality in sicily and a field where we can put the 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 bus the problem was like you know we still we know we want to travel so we have to leave these things behind and if it's something that it's in the middle of nowhere we were worried about so what happens if somebody comes in if they break in or you know and plus i would say a bus it's a lovely idea well a bus that doesn't drive on the road because that's really expensive so a bus that is static and work as a tiny house the problem was like a bus it's metal so every time and especially in Sicily with all the salt and all these things I mean also a lot of money because if an engine doesn't work for maybe a couple of years I mean you need maintenance and you know we don't want a blood bath about you know having a, a tiny place where to live yeah it was very romantic very Instagrammable if you think but yeah we went for this idea a small house a tiny caravan plus the wooden house so it's actually three different places so we got the wooden house where is the bathroom the kitchen and the main area where uh, you can work the table and all the cabinets for kitchen stuff and then the caravan that was uh, emptied from everything like is not like the original and it was covered with nice food it seems like a like a wooden house in the mountains for example and we got three pads with a lot of storage that we can use because now for example we don't need to bring everything with us we got a small place where we can leave some stuff that we don't use daily so that's what we did and plus in the back you have a patio it's called patio patio like, patio oh where you can just see woods and the, the forest that we have just in front so it, it's lovely uh, it's also a place where when we're there we can invite people have some parties and you know it's our life it's always you know me and Mel and the dogs and that place you know it's nice because it's not a house it's not somewhere like in the middle of nowhere where you don't have neighbors for example we got really nice neighbors and plus it's a camping so every time there's a lot of camper vans that stop by during summer mainly so it's nice because 
you can do your own things, you can have your privacy, but if you want and if you need, as we're social animals, you can just go out, there's a bar and a restaurant, and, you know, you can enjoy the time there. So, yeah, that that what happened in the last year, and since, I think, a couple weeks, we finished with the van, I told you we changed the engine, the new engine, we also got some new shocks that uh, are handmade by an Italian company and uh, of course we upgrade everything like solar panels on top, like new ones and a Victron lithium battery at the bottom, a new electric system, as I told you we got uh, instant gas boiler so it's the same that we had before but now it's fixed outside and everything is like you know we don't need to take it out every time we got the shower inside yes a shower inside a t4 i will probably make a video i did one in italian but i will probably make a video about it but you will not see my wife naked probably you will see me naked <laughs> and so we got hot water for dishes for example in the kitchen and yeah, I mean, we create the space as we need, depending on our needs. And, you know, we live nine years in the classic uh, VW Westphalia, California, and we know what we want to change. So now, for example, we have not one table, but two tables so we can work separately. Each one of us has his own place for working with the computer, as you might not know, but we're digital nomads. So that means that we use computer and Wi-Fi and internet connection in order to get the money and, you know, pay for all the expenses that what we're, we do since 2012. And yeah, pretty much that's it. So our plan for the future, uh, hopefully <laughs> waiting for the rain to stop and then we're gonna be a little bit around here South Italy because uh, I just took out one tooth last night and uh, I need to fix it so we're gonna be here nearby so I can go back to the dentist and then we think about middle of January let's say to get the ferry to get to Greece, to travel a little bit there, then to get to Athens and take another ferry that will bring us to Crete. We've never been there, some friends have been there in the winter, which all it's lovely. It's not a huge island, but it's not too small like Cyprus, for example, so we plan to stay a couple months and then eventually to visit the small islands of the Cyclades. Cyclades. I don't know. Cyclades? I don't Cyclades. Know. Cyclades. I don't know. Well, Cyclades in Italian. I don't know. It's in English. Cyclades. But, well, you know, Santorini and Naxos and Mykonos. Uh, well, probably not Mykonos is the party one, but Eos. And there's a lot of islands. And we got the perfect camper to visit because, you know, there's a lot of ferries involved. Well, I think the battery <laughs> went out. Anyway. To finish that and then to go eventually back to Turkey to finish our travel that we stopped last year. So that's it, pretty much. I hope you enjoy this video. We're gonna try to post on the English channel as well, at least once a week. Uh, we recently post some videos that are filmed back in 2020 and, or 2019. So, well, we just, you know, try to get back. Uh, if you like this video, put a thumbs up. If not, uh, just watch some other channel. Oh, I got these that is really cool. Look at that. Pokemon. 